morning everybody this is our second load that we've tarped with our new tarps I've been very impressed with them got them from mighty products based in Ohio I'm very happy we have a load of lumber underneath there fancy lumber that can't get dirty from the road we're gonna deliver that into Brainerd Minnesota today I'm an hour and a half away I'm just gonna do my pre-trip wait for my clock to turn over so that I can get moving on my logbook we're gonna drop that off once we're empty we're gonna grab a coffee and then we're gonna head down to Burlington Iowa there's a nice nice load there waiting for us that's taking us into Saskatchewan that we're gonna deliver next week so I'm, I'm filming this on a Thursday so we're gonna pick it up tomorrow on Friday we're gonna go home for the weekend get home Saturday afternoon and then we'll leave Sunday night to deliver it Monday into eastern Saskatchewan, about five hours away from where I live. And then we come home, and I have some special events going on next month. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys in suspense, but I'm getting on a plane next Wednesday. And uh, we're flying out somewhere for a very special event with some special people. And then I'm flying right back, because on Friday is Theo, my son's first birthday. So I'm not going to miss that. So I'm flying out, we're gonna have a special event, we're gonna fly back for his birthday, and then the following Sunday, next weekend, but the next next weekend, uh, we're having his birthday party with our family and friends. So I'm gonna be off work for, uh, or not off work, but I'm gonna be out of the truck for about a week after this trip. But we'll still be making videos. I, I'm gonna take you along on this little adventure I'm going on next week. I don't get to fly out very often, and usually when I fly, it's to somewhere special for a special reason. It's not vacation. You guys just have to tune in to figure it out. There is something big going on in trucking next week, though, right? You're watching this right now, it's probably going on right now. What can you think of that's going on in trucking? You probably know already, I probably spilled the beans already on Facebook. Hey, you follow me on Facebook? If you want to see all my social media, uh, click uh, the title down below my video, click the show more button. Uh, there's links down there to all my friends and to also all of my social media you can find that because I often spill the beans on Facebook I can't keep things like this quiet for long but I have to for now I have to I'm not allowed to say let's get going not allowed to say yet once I get the green light to say something started with today's video. Today's special shout out goes to our friends at Howes Products. You can find a link to their website down below, my video in the description, all the diesel treatment products you need. Best of the best. Go check them out. It's gonna be fun. It's been in the works for a very long time already but I've had to stay hush-hush about it. Because it's a surprise. But it's coming up quick. Great, look at that, full of oil. Nice, clean oil. Coolant is good to go. Check all of my brakes and everything while I'm down here. My suspension, make sure that everything is good. I'm gonna continue that. If you're wondering what that hissing noise is there, that's my engine heater. Sorry, it's probably pretty loud in the mic. I didn't think of that until just now uh, when I had you over there. Uh, it, it warms up my engine. I don't necessarily need that on a day like today. It's probably about 35, maybe 40 Fahrenheit. It's, it's not that cold, but I like to do that anyways. I don't like to turn over my engine until it's at least a little bit warmed up. You know, It just warms up the coolant. So on really, really cold winter days, you turn that on for a while, and it'll warm up your block enough because if you don't do that, your engine will literally freeze and you won't be able to turn it over because it's too cold. So that's to make sure I can start my engine. It's going to be a warm one today. We're 
getting ourselves out of Deer River. About an hour and a half down to Brainerd where we got to unload. Shouldn't take too long there, they're usually pretty quick. And it's a bit of a hike down to Burlington. Uh, dude, that's a red light. That was a red light for you, my friend, not a stop sign. I, ha I had the green, and he just went straight through the red light. Huh. You saw that, right? It's gonna be a good day. Sun's shining, warming up. Got a delivery to make, got a good load to go pick up, and then we're going home. question for you guys <clears throat> how many of you guys are still driving stick and how many of you are uh, in, in, in an automatic <clears throat> it's true that most trucks that come out nowadays are automatic it's actually pretty hard to find a stick shift I have an 18 speed and I love it Nothing against automatics, I get it, but I feel like it takes uh, a small part of trucking out of it. For me, anyway. I like having full control of the truck. I don't need a truck or a computer shifting for me. I mean, I can do that myself. Though the new trucks, they're pretty much computers on wheels. Sensors everywhere. I like it, you know, you just put diesel fuel in the tanks, go. Man, we're almost to windows down weather, just about. I can roll the windows down when I roll through town. It just gets a little bit chilly when I'm going highway speed yet, but we're almost there. Drive. 
I just don't want to be involved in that. I don't want anyone else involved in that. Does that make sense, what I'm trying to say? Iowa. Burlington, Iowa. Eight hours away. Let's get going. In one kilometer, turn right on Washington Street, MM210. Washington Street, NM210. We're here on the north side of St. Cloud, Minnesota, and Quick Trip wins our business this week with the cheapest fuel. How do I get in there now? It's off to our left. They beat out St. Cloud Pilot by 11 cents per gallon. St. Cloud Pilot on our fuel card is sitting at 3.34 per gallon. Quick Trip here is at 3.23 a gallon. Pilot, you're dropping the ball. <laughs> Usually St. Cloud Pilot is the cheapest anywhere in Minnesota that I can find. Not today. Proud of yourself, Quick Trip. There's two guys in the pumps right now. Hopefully, they'll be done right away. I'm here for my cheap juice. Everywhere else on my route, all the way down to Burlington, is about $3.40 a gallon. Here, we'll be able to get down to Burlington and probably back up to somewhere with cheaper juice in uh, maybe North Dakota. We'll see. We'll worry about that tomorrow. I picked the wrong lane. some of that cheap juice. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful. green 
green light, bud. You don't have to stop for those. Oh, no, he's still, oh, okay, we're slowing down again. Speed limit has not changed. left on my clock before I need to take an eight hour break or I mean a half hour break I got more time but I'd have to stop for a half hour this is nice right underneath the light oh, I like that there's also a spot over there That was a close one. Well, we made it. I didn't have to stop for an extra half hour break, waste a half hour. And we found a pretty good parking spot, look at this. Straight right out the driveway here. Easy in and out, or easy out for these guys beside me in the morning. Beautiful. And my pickup is just around the corner, right over there. Whenever I get there tomorrow, earlier the better, because the earlier I get loaded, the earlier I get headed home. 